This is my patient this week, Jacob. I'm Rhonda McKinney. This is week seven assessment of the thorax and the abdomen. We will begin with the thorax. Um, Jason or Jacob is already seated. I can see that um, obviously he is smaller. The anto angle is a lot smaller than he is across his shoulders, which is perfectly correct. I can look at his back. I see that he has no skin lesions no abnormalities, no reddening, no bumps or masses. Um, he is breathing very relaxed with his arms in his laps. He's sitting in a, in a position that indicates he's not in any obvious pain. So at that point, I will um, then begin to palpate on his posterior back. I'm gonna ask you to turn just a little bit if you can so she can get this. Um, what I'm going to measure is uh, symmetrical chest expansion. So I'm going to put my hands here. Now take some deep breaths. Again. Good. My thumbs are moving in and out at the same angle and the same distance. So his expansion is perfectly normal. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm, every time I touch you, I want you to say the word 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, Good. Um, I'm also going to ask Jacob to now repeat the sound, the long E, 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 e. every time I, the, the ball of my hand touches your back, okay? Yeah. E, 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 E. Very good. Again, the vibrations were symmetric and even. Had the 99 been a very clear sound or a, a distinct difference in the vibrations, I would have, my, my thought process would have taken me to perhaps bronchopathy, which is um, a consolidation of tissue, lung tissue. And if the E had been unequal in vibrations or uh, sounded like the A sound, um, egophony would have been present, which might indicate pleurisy. Okay, now just relax. I'm going to just tap on you, okay? Yeah. yeah. Avoiding the scapula. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of lines on your back, okay? Okay. I'm going to tap again. And this is for di diaphragmatic excursion, okay? I'm going to tap down until the sound becomes dull. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? Okay.
uh, the right side is slightly higher than the left, and that is okay because that allows room for the liver. I'm going to measure between the two lines. And then I get four centimeters on the left and five on the right, and that is perfectly okay. That is within normal limits. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one more time, and I'm gonna ask you to exhale and hold it, okay? Go ahead and exhale, and hold it. Now, inhale and hold. Now let's do the same thing over here. Okay. Exhale and hold. Okay. Inhale. Okay, good. Um, the, the breathing allowed for me to verify what I had already presented here. Now, I'm, go I'm going to um, just palpate here, and I want you to tell me if you have any tenderness anywhere I touch you, okay? Going in a rotary motion with the pads in my fingers. I do not feel any enlargement, lumps, or masses. All right, I want you to whisper the words one, two, three. When I when I put my um, hand on you, okay? I'm just going to take a listen to you now, okay? At this point, I would auscultate, so I have followed the recommended sequence of inspection, palpitation, percussion, and now auscultation. And I will clean the stethoscope off. Oh, and I should have said when I first came in that I washed my hands. I want you to say one, two, three again. One, two, three. 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 Good. The sound is very muffled. If it had been loud and clear, then it, there would have been uh, reason for concern and may have indicated consolidation of lung tissue or a mass. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to bend slightly forward just a touch. Okay. I want you to breathe deeper than you normally do when you feel my stethoscope touch you, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Are you getting tired? No. You okay? Yeah. Good.
All right, good. The lungs are clear bilaterally to auscultation. Now we will move to the front. Um, would it be possible for you to swing down here on the end? Okay. I want you to sit up. Okay. Okay. All right. As I as I look at Jacob, I notice that he is not using any accessory muscles or having any retractions. His breathing is relaxed. His respirations are easy and normal. I would then count his respirations either for a full minute or for 30 seconds and multiply it by two. The normal adult respirations should be between 12 and 20. Um, he's very relaxed. He's obviously not in pain. He's alert and oriented. So at this point we will resume with the same thing we did on the posterior thorax and we will do it on the anterior thorax. So um, one thing I'm going to do a little different is I'd like to look at your nails. Oh yeah. Okay. I notice that his nails are well groomed. They aren't bitten. There is no evidence of cyanosis or pallor. The cap refill is less than two seconds. His skin is warm and dry and intact. There are no lesions on his hands or on his chest. I notice symmetry in his breathing. His costal vertebral angle is even. Um, he, he doesn't appear to be in any stress. Okay? Now, we're going to do pretty much what we did on the back. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to um, begin and ask you, you know, to, um, of course, repeat words and things of that nature. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The first thing we're going to do is the 99. Okay. So, I'm going to place the ball in my hand. Every time you feel it touch you, I just want you to say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. The vibrations were equal bilaterally. Um, I'm going to remember when I used my thumbs, I'm going to do the same thing here, okay? okay. Yep. So, I just want you to take a, a nice couple of relaxed breaths, okay? okay? I have my hands at the intercostal angle, pitched up just a touch of skin. And my thumbs and hands are moving out at equal distance. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right, so he, again, is able to deep breathe without any effort. All right, what we're going to do now is um, we're just going to touch you, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to tell me if you experience any tenderness or pain, okay. all right? Any pain? No. Good. All right. Now, I'm going to put my stethoscope on you, and every time I touch you, I want you to say 99. Okay? Okay. Vibrations were even, the sounds were muffled. Now I'm just going to tack it, okay? Mm -hmm. Not painful, is it? Jacob obviously have a normal lung assessment. Um, at this point in the exam, we will um, 
move on to the abdominal portion of the exam.